Italy uses stowaways. Crying out loud. Hello, my name is Beckett, and we are playing FTD Ocean Block. And uh, first thing I want to do today is teach this thing how to make a trash can from the trash cans mod. Now there's an you know energy, liquid, even void, pretty much anything. You can build one thing for everything. But we just want the basics here. And it's just stone, any kind of chest, cobble. Now, we're going to end up wanting a couple of these, I think, but we'll just make one for now. There we go. Now, you can pipe things in. So we're going to stick it right here and immediately turn it to whitelist, the filter, so that uh, only what we want to go in will go in. And we're going to start with boots, the golden boots. Watch all those go away. And we're going to put uh, the golden trust plate up here. And you get the general idea. Next thing I want to do is something I've been meaning to do for a while, which is make an ender inhibitor, from uh, a teleportation inhibitor in general, from a uh, mob grinding utility. This will uh, keep us from having to deal with the endermen who fall down onto the mob hurting <laughs> machine <laughs> over here, from uh, teleporting all over. Uh, Tearing up our base. I think all we do is just slap it on here. Yeah, okay, you right click to turn it on and off. Sweet. Next thing I want to do is get started with industrial core going. So that's the whole series of quests we have to complete. And there are some useful blocks and mechanics. Now it all starts with this fluid extractor. Uh, so we're going to have to. Uh, Teach this thing some recipes. Now the pity machine frame isn't bad. Okay, it's cast iron, wood, and a block of redstone. And we'll also teach this thing how to make a... Uh... Does it already happen to know that? It does not. Okay, we'll teach it that too. We're going to go ahead and make four of them. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. And we're going to take this. We're going to take our fluid pipes. We're going to make ourselves a nice big fluid tank here. And we're going to need four blocks of wood. That's wood. <laughs> here we go. Logs, that's what I'm trying to say. Now, you can hook these up to power, so we're going to, because I want to get this stuff uh, relatively fast. This is backwards, um, so let's uh, see if we can just flip it with these things. Not uh, really. Okay, let me get these set up properly. Okay, now we're talking. You can, what you want to do is buy the, uh, whatever this business is supposed to be. Put your logs down. Logs will start to break. These things will uh, start to uh, extract latex. And uh, we're going to put it all in a tank. Next thing we're going to need is a latex processing unit. We will need a bucket of latex to make this. So yeah, this, this, is, this is where you start. Should have about a bucket in there. Yeah. Very cool. And let's get this in practice for Shouldn't take too long. There it is. Now we're going to put this thing right over here. Now what this block does, it takes uh, latex and water. And it uh, makes rubber out of it. So. We're going to detach that. <laughs> there we 
we go. And we shouldn't have any uh drain or it's all fine. Now while this uh while this is processing, we're gonna look at these recyclers. Let's see what it takes. Um blocks of iron. We need to teach this thing how to make a stone cutter. There we go. And there's an advanced item recycler. That's uh, gold ingots, end rods, and a redstone repeater. This thing know how to make a redstone torch yet? It does not. That's fine. Here we go. And let's see how this thing works. What is that item recycler? A block of iron. Oh, we gotta create some iron. See, the storage drawer knows how to uh, make this out of blocks of iron. You can see the number of blocks counting up, but I didn't make a recipe for it. Because if we need to, we can just scrap some iron and we have it. Alright. What advanced item recycler? Let's see what this thing is all about. Doesn't look like it needs power. Which is good. Now the reason I built it is because don't have any Inferium. Okay, we have... Prudentium Furnace we certainly don't need. Now. Okay, no. Can't recycle these two. But we got all these tools, right? And they might... A lot of them might be downstairs now that I think about it. But here, for instance, is an Imperium Comma. And this, yeah, huh, I swear we were supposed to be able to use these to, now nah, it doesn't do a thing. Maybe the password? Let's look this thing up. I swear there was a way to, uh, okay, so we could, we could recycle farmland and normal tools, it looks like, but not the Tinker's version. Well, that's unfortunate, because we have an awful lot of the Tinker's version. Oh well, it was worth a shot. All these vanilla tools, though. Oh, not that one. <laughs> All these, she says. That's a normal shovel. Okay. That's some tinkers. That's some tinkers. Axles didn't work. That's from tinkers. That's from okay. Those aren't. Neither are these. So, let's see... Okay, it's moving along. All right. Well, this is definitely something we can throw some of the, uh, the stuff we get from quest rewards that we don't actually need. So it don't work. Okay. I've also been making seeds, but we may end up having to move this. We're running out of a uh, out of room down here for cloches. Um, some of these are getting to be a little bit redundant. Like, I think there's still hemp growing in here somewhere that we really don't need. But, uh, we did get enough blaze powder to use our metal press to turn it into 80 blaze rods. 
So, what, uh, 240 blaze powder we managed to, uh, spruce up. But that'll give us our blaze speed. And, uh, easily handled. Alright, we're starting to get an amount of latex in here. So we're going to take it, and we're going to pop it right here. And we're going to set this to extract. That's just what it's going to do. And it's going to start taking the latex in the water and making tiny dry rubs. Now what you do with this stuff, like uh, like we saw, is nine of them crafts into dry rubber. And then you smelt it, and you get some plastic, which we use in just about every machine from Industrial Foregoing. Now one of the first machines I want to make from Industrial Foregoing is a marine fisher. This will uh, this will fish automatically for us. So it's pretty cool. Now we will need a simple machine frame for it, and for that we're going to need a dissolution chamber, which is kind of expensive, but not that bad really. I don't know if this thing knows how to make a diamond here, so let's check that out first. No, it does not. All right, so let me get this together. Okay, one dissolution chamber coming up, I hope. Looks fine. Now I think we need to give this thing a little bit of room. Yeah, okay, so we've got... Actually... Oh, fine. Um, we do need to, uh, get fluid into it, but... We really only need to do it like a bucket at a time. So, to make the simple machine frame, what's it going to take? Okay, yeah, so a buck of the latex will get us four. Alright, we just right click it in. Yeah, now this does not have compatibility with JI, it kind of is what it is. We're lucky we have the recipes. <laughs> we did not in, uh, in, uh, that, that last skyblock we played. But we're gonna need a total of... Let's see if we have enough in here to do eight plastics. That's how much we're gonna end up needing. Okay, but we can, we can do four, right? For demonstration purposes. Cool. And what else did it say? What is it called? Wait for it. It said we're gonna need nether bricks. So let's, uh, oh, this is this kind, right? And I think gold? No, iron. Two iron. Four iron. We're gonna need a pity machine frame. For each one of these we want to make. And you'll, you'll recognize that as it goes up. You can... And then you make the advanced machine frame, you make the supreme machine frame, you make a fuel reactor. And we do have to do this manually. I don't even think it'll accept two. <laughs> so, if anybody's ever figured out a way to automate this thing, let me know. I, I never have. There we go. Now, the marine fisher itself is, is not really that expensive. Um, I'll craft it up here. Oh, those darn... I don't know why this thing always defaults. Okay, we haven't even caught this thing on here yet. Maybe that's the problem. Let's see if that was the problem. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Okay, we just need, uh, we just need some more rubber. So those, uh... So those two types of gears are or dictionary with each other, so that's just me. Okay, that ought to do it. Craft this thing up. Very cool. Done. Nice. Now we're gonna want some pipes. Now what we want to do with this thing, we need to power it. So there's an energy cell, and a solar panel, so this thing will start getting power. 
I was originally gonna hook this thing up to uh, the storage system over there with the rest of the but I keep in mind we're not actually gonna run this that long. So because we're gonna end up making fish seed. And then just using this to try to farm for enchanted books. But, but anyway, what you do? You need to have this thing above water. Uh, at least a 3x3. Three three. And these always point the right direction, so you don't have to worry too much. And you can see it's already catching us some fish. So we're just gonna throw a chest down here. And uh, hook it up. And we'll start to get some stuff. As you might suspect, we're gonna get an awful lot of garbage. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, like, we don't need the boots or the flash or the lily pads or the trip wires. So let's go ahead and set this thing on the whitelist. And we'll start to teaching this thing to throw away all the stuff that, uh, that we're not trying to collect. And we'll just set this to extract. All that stuff goes away. Now we keep our fish. Now, the solar isn't isn't the, the greatest setup up here, but it's enough to run this thing while the sun is up. This thing does not actually use a whole ton of uh, power. We seem to be keeping up pretty well. Now, I've been looking ahead at some of the quests we're going to have to accomplish towards the end of the pack, and we're going to need a lot of plastic. So what we're going to do is send this stuff across to the, uh, to the, what do you call it, the uh, ender chest, the, uh, the latex processor? Is that it? I think so. Now, is that, well... Producing it. Oh, see, I think this should work. Let's just uh, go ahead and hook it up over here. Yeah, okay, it's just starting to, to get some latex in it, so that's good. Um, we'll drain the rest of the latex out of this. And we'll set it to drain automatically out of the ender chest so that we just get a, a steady flow. And the other thing we're going to do is uh, hook an importer up so that we can send this stuff directly to our storage system. There we go. And we'll just run a little bit of the cable. Let's see where's our clothes. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. It does seem weird that we can't get that rubber, with the, with the rubber speed. <laughs> but, you know, is what it is. Alright, so I feel like that's a good solid start on Industrial Foregoing. We'll be making, uh, most of the blocks from it. To, uh, get all the quests. Speaking of which, okay, one, two steel leggings. That's fancy. All kinds of, one enchanted book, another imprisonment tool. Let's see what the book is. Reaper. Neat. Anyway, that's going to have to about do it for this time. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.